Hi everybody, Brad Sinclair here, your local realtor looking to earn your real estate business by bringing you local knowledge, representation, and service. And welcome to find out what you don't know. And today we're going to discuss interest rates. But before we can discuss what's going to happen or what my thoughts are, what's going to happen with the interest rates that we have just seen yesterday, September 7th, is what is um, or where have we been in 2022? So we have seen a number of rate increases throughout the, this year. And um, let's take a look at uh, the results of those increases right now. So residential sales, we're looking at the Pebro and Quartha's uh, real estate numbers, which does encompass Bancroft as well. Um, it, it has been a very up and down year so far for number of sales. So numbers of sales have dropped significantly throughout the year compared to 2021. So that's where you're hearing from the media, the um, reductions of sales and the sales numbers are down 40%, not the value, but the sales numbers. While there is no doubt the sale prices have reduced or dropped throughout the year, we were looking at an average last year of about $750,000. And uh, we began of 2022 at an average of around $800,000. So we've actually dropped back in between that $700,000 and $750,000 price point for regular residential. So yes, there has been a drop, but really the drop just takes us back into the 2021 numbers, which was even significantly higher than the 2020 numbers, which was of an average of approximately $550,000. So the values have stuck. Now, waterfront sales prices, we definitely have seen a big reduction in those values. At the beginning of 2022, we were seeing an average of $1.15 million for a waterfront as an average. And right now we're hovering right around the million dollar mark. That's compared to 2021, where we're seeing again, the $1 million mark as an average where comparatively in 2020, we are looking at the $800,000 as the average market price. So we are seeing some reductions there as well, but again, not a big significant drop. Now, what has made these numbers drop? Well, of course, the, the interest rates being risen uh, significantly over the past uh, few months has put a damper on the real estate market. But what has kept us up and going still with very strong numbers is the lack of inventory on the market. There really is not that much for sale. So sales 101, it comes right back to supply and demand and the supply is still low. So what does this all mean with the, um, the interest rate increase that we seen yesterday? Well, guys, not much. Not much is really gonna change. Things are going to continue on as we have been seeing them through the year. Inventory is very low. Buyers are still fairly nervous that prices are going to drop further and thinking that they are going to overpay. As longer they wait, the more they're going to realize that prices are not coming down. And I believe in the fall, we're going to see a strong amount of sale numbers because people can only hold back so far and so long with uh, not purchasing or selling real estate in the Peterborough and Cortha area. So no doom and gloom here for me, guys. I'm seeing that uh, real estate market is strong. It's healthy. Yes, interest rates are going up. But again, a lot of us that have been in the business for a long time, we look at the interest rates around five, 6% and we're laughing because really, that's a, still a really, really great rate to see out there. And uh, it's still an, a, a rate that keeps our market strong and healthy. Guys, my name is Brad Sinclair with the Brad Sinclair team. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know at 705-927-6236. Love to have a discussion with you. Thanks.